happy Sunday. It's a beautiful, sunny day here in Michigan. Uh, just wanted to give you a quick little update on what's growing. This is my green stock. Got some strawberries coming along nicely. All oh, my herbs are doing beautifully. I just harvested a bunch of this dill last night um, for a potato salad that I'm having today. Some more herbs. Got some calendula growing in this pot and these I think are four o'clocks from last year. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing. Look at those beautiful nasturtiums. Gorgeous. So these are Brussels sprouts. I think either my dog or a squirrel got to this one. Um, but these are all doing really good. My eggplant, I just fertilized it because it's not looking very healthy. These leaves aren't. This is my determinate um, tomato bed. Look at the stalks on them. Can you see them? So big. This one is not doing so good. Looks like it's starting to come back a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with this one. I probably didn't harden it off uh, well enough. In this bed I have, um, these are broccoli. I thought all of these were goners. Um, but a week later, much to my surprise, they are looking fabulous. So uh, broccoli, 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 and then cabbages there. And then this is my Chinese pink celery. Um, it's doing so good. I'm super happy. I guess celery is really hard to um, to grow. So this is my first year trying it and I am pretty pleased with it so far. Got a couple beans that should start um, trellising upwards pretty soon. These are more Brussels sprouts and several varieties of pepper. Over here I got some um, dinosaur kale. I don't know what the correct name for that is, but that's just what I call it. Um, some purple kale and then the Delectica squash are coming up nicely. This is all mammoth dill. Um, I like to grow a lot of this for pickling and it's also really good for um, swallowtail caterpillars that turn into swallowtail butterflies. <clears throat> this is some toothache plant. I've never grown this before. My friend Rachel gave me the seeds for it so I am excited to try that. And then we'll come into the <clears throat> high tunnel or greenhouse, whatever you want to call it. And these are some indeterminate tomatoes. I have them in here because I would like to grow them well past the season and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do that. This is a uh, San Marzano Lungo number two. This is another one. I started this one a couple weeks after this one. Um, Amish paste tomato. That's not doing so well. Um, I think this is a better girl. And this one I have no clue what it is. It's a mystery tomato. So we'll see how that goes. But it's looking great. Um, let's see, black, no, that's a German pink, black creme, 
This is a determinant variety. I just picked this up at uh, the farm store. I've never tried to grow this one. Um, this is a Heinz variety. And then I have more peppers here. I just put some coffee grounds onto the soil because as you can see, they're looking a little yellow, so they need some fertilizing. So hopefully that will perk them up. So that's what's going on there. Got some seedlings here. Um, these are more San Marzano uh, Lungo number two seedlings. I have a problem with growing lots of tomatoes. Tomatoes and chickens, my addiction. Um, then I just have some slicing cucumbers and some pickling cucumbers here. Marigolds and some more calendula there. <clears throat> now we will go down to the other garden area. Hi girls. Hi girls. I grow herbs. Hi Joan. I grow herbs and uh, different lettuces and stuff for my chickens. And then I got some lavender, uh, rosemary, and thyme in that one. So a squirrel ate, I had mammoth sunflowers <laughs> along here and a squirrel came and ate them. So I'm not really happy about that. Got some beans here to go up this paneling. Uh, some more tomatoes. This is where the cucumbers will go and they'll climb up that trellis. Some more tomatoes. I planted some um, glass gem corn there and some golden bantam corn here and it looks like some little critter has came and kicked up the wood chips so that's not cool. And then these are um, some zucchinis. They're doing really good too. And I grow them upwards. It, uh, in my opinion, you don't get things like uh, the powdery mildew, and it's just a lot easier, um, I think, for pollinators to find it. Um, last year, I did have to hand pollinate a lot of my zucchini that I had up there last year um, but then I trellised it up and I didn't have to do that anymore so that was good well that's uh, just a quick little update for you guys got some citronella for the flies for the, at the, for the chickens so but yep that's what's going on Look at that berry, that's gonna be good. Yes. A couple more days and that's going in my mouth. All right, well, I hope you all have a fabulous Sunday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.